Welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. Today we're going to begin a two-part series on drawings, focused specifically on how to make drawings look good or make them attractive, as well as capturing the critical information from the model or models that go on that drawing and displaying it in an accurate and uh, concise way without adding a whole lot of extra effort. Actually, no extra effort. So the idea here is to make drawings look good and have them be accurate all at the same time. In this first part, we'll be focused on the appearance of the drawing. That is, making the drawings look their best. Let's jump right in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab up a drawing. And there's a drawing using all the defaults. Default fonts, default line weight, and so on. But how does this look? on the drawing. That's the, really the question. What is this really going to look like? And there's really no good print preview. you got to print, file, no print preview. And so what I like to do, check this out. Go to commands for your toolbars and what I'm going to add is the save as PDF button. And I'll actually use this instead of the print. I'll go ahead and let that save that off to the current directory. And so when I click this button, I get new options. In Wildfire 2, it went straight to creating the PDF. Now there's some, uh, some options. And so I'll often map key this one to have this go to the visible only layers, and it makes a PDF. And this is what this drawing is going to look like. All sheets, as if it were printed. As you know, PDFs print very much whizzy wig. What you see is what you get. So. Let's change what this might look like now. So what are the things that I might want to change? Well, let's take a look at some of the things we can do here. If I double click on uh, a dimension, I can change its text style from the default font to any true type font. There's really quite a few here. And of course, you might have one that you like best. Um, I like the, uh, the triumvirate ones. Let's take a look what that might look like. So you see how that changes what the one dimension? How do you change arrows, for example? How do you change uh, extension lines? How do you change the display of all these things? Well, these things are done when you right click on the background without anything selected, you go to properties. Then go to drawing options, and you have a whole long list of uh, tremendous things that you can change. Um, you can change things like the overall text height and width. The text width factor is another one. Let's just change that. Let's change this to uh, maybe 0.09 as far as the height is concerned. And uh, the, the width factor can also be very nice to change. So if I change this to 0.9 and uh, update that. Now, if I take a look at the drawing, you'll see this is the triumvirate. This is now what the new font looks like. A, a little bit nicer. There's a lot of other options as well. What if I go to the drawing options again and I can open a whole long list of changes. I've got one here that changes a bunch of things. and That updates the whole drawing all at once. Let's take a look at what the preview looks like now. And you'll see the drawing preview making the drawing look really a whole lot nicer. So now I'd like to get a little more specific as to how this is all done. Let's go back to those drawing options. Let's take a look at this again. A couple of things I'd like to point out is one about the default font. You saw at the drawing level that if I uh, go to edit the text font, I can pull down a list of true type fonts. Well, where are those and what are they called? For Pro Engineer Wildfire 3, it's in a load point text subdirectory listed in fonts. And here are the names of all the true type fonts at the file level. They all have different names as displayed in Pro. If you want Pro Engineer to grab one of these by default, you have to grab the name, and you see it here. You also, if you have some new true type fonts that you'd like to add, you can add them into this directory. In Wildfire 2, it's uh, load point slash text and uh, not in fonts. So they're kind of mixed up in the, a little bit. Okay? So that's what you do. You put uh, the name here and it'll, it'll grab that one. 
The other thing I'd like to point out this time is drawing arrow length, style, and width. These things can also make a very nice impact on your drawing. Another thing I'd like to point out with respect to drawings is the notion of the format. Right click on the background again and this time page setup is what you're looking for where you can specify a format for each of your pages. Now these are the default formats. I have a couple in my home directory. This is an A size drawing so I'll just use my A size format. And now what does the drawing look like? This is what you see is what you get. You can have a proprietary statement in its own color, arrows, fonts, format, text box all filled in for you. All these things are very doable and I'll be discussing this in further depth also in our second part. Let's take a look at some other drawings and see what other options there are. I'm going to grab Notice here that the balloons are all different sizes and if I go to print preview you'll see that the the balloons are different sizes the font is not quite centered in them let's take a look at what the, some of the options might be if they were applied on the background let's go to the properties and then drawing options we'll grab the set by the way, I'll be making these uh, DTL and as well as the uh, formats that I'm using here available on my website. Let's take a look at the uh, the A size format. You'll see if we go to the print preview now that it really does look much nicer. The balloons are all the same size. The font is centered scale is fractional a um, lot of neat things that you can put on your drawing um, to have the uh, title block fill out automatically is part of what I'll be discussing in part two of this series the last thing I'd like to touch on in this uh, drawing attractiveness thing is the notion of uh, how to make the detailed view or any sort of view breakout look nice watch how this works first what do you want to make a detail of and then the question how much of it well if you just make a loose middle mouse to close out the loop if you just make a loose uh, circle the breakout edges are then very very jagged if you double click on that and then go to the spline you can define that spline once again and this time if you put a lot more clicks in that spline you'll end up with a much smoother uh, breakout. Let's take a look at that again. Go to the properties for the view, spline, make a lot more clicks, close out with the middle mouse button, and this is what the view then looks like. So I hope a little of this made sense to you. I know we covered quite a bit of stuff along the way. Uh, I'm hoping that you'll be able to use some of this and then we can make Pro Engineer drawings look much better in the future. My name's Leo Green. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.